Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial and today in Adobe XD we're gonna make this cool uh, loading animation so as to say and we're gonna do this in try and do this in less than five minutes so let's get started so here I have already started us off um, what I've done is with the pen tool I have made this uh, circular shape what you can do is quickly uh, uh, draw a diamond shape like a three-fourth diamond so as to say and the trick here is to uh, when you when you can see here I'm just gonna turn this into white uh, when I double click an anchor point it makes it the circular anchor point so I'm gonna click on these and you just have to adjust this and make a quick circle um, I'll leave this to you because I know you're talented enough to be able to get this into a circle right? So I've already done this for you guys just to get us started off quick. Uh, this is the, these are the original artboards. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, this. I want this to uh, be like this, like uh, at the bottom, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove one of these anchor points. I've selected this anchor point. I'm going to click on delete and voila, that is that exactly looks like this one. Um, However, when I rotate this, this won't rotate like a normal circle does, right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, bring a circle. I'm going to make a circle, right? Uh, which is just about the size of this circle. Perfect. That is, that is one shot wonder. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to group both of these by uh, clicking on Command G or Control G on Windows. And when you when I rotate this, see how it rotates now? Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the white uh, circle. And I'm just going to reduce the opacity to zero. So you now you can't really see the circle. And there's a there's a little quick cool trick if you want to you know make uh, circles rotate like this, half or quarter circles as well. Now I'm going uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first change the color for this. I'm going to mm, let's say give it a red, right? And I'm gonna quickly copy this over. So there are now two. Uh, now the second one will be actually smaller. So I've selected the uh, selected one of these anchor points. I'm just gonna say delete. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna change this color to say, how about a blue? Perfect. Blue and red, contrasting, extremely contrasting colors. And I'm gonna place this over this. Just gonna make the blue go behind. Perfect. Uh, now I'm gonna uh, copy the or duplicate this artboard. Uh, click on Command D or Control D quickly, and it'll just duplicate the artboard. And what I'm gonna do here is I'll select the red circle, the half red circle. And here, if on the top right hand side, uh, there is this rotate angle. What I'm gonna say is say. 360 degrees just enter you can't really see much of its change because 360 will just rotate it completely and what I'm gonna do is from uh, the layers panel on the left I'm gonna select the lower layer which is our blue circle and I'm gonna rotate it again say 360 but this time I'm gonna say minus 360 because one of our circles will go in the opposite direction now, now let's uh, give it the magical touch um, Go to prototype mode and when I select this uh, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna drag this to the other artboard and I'm gonna say time trigger From the drop down here, and I'm gonna give it a zero second delay uh, it, uh, a snap Easing and duration of two seconds you can you can uh, obviously edit this and whatever you like you can just keep it like that I'm going to select the second artboard. I'm just going to drag this to the back. Uh, so basically what will happen from this artboard, it'll go onto this artboard and back to this artboard. So I'm going to play the preview and we'll see the magic happen. There you go. There you have it. These two circles kind of flowing through each other. It's like a, it's like one of those fountains where the water moves from one pole to the other. Uh, so this was an interesting tutorial. My original design, which is almost identical, 
uh, I will give in the description below as an XD file. So if you want to use this, if you want to edit this, if you want to further do something with it, you can do uh, something with it. Uh, there is no copyright. There is no nothing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, go ahead and click on the subscribe button because that helps me a lot. And also click on the bell icon once you've clicked on the subscribe button. Hit that like button if you did and also share it with your Facebook friends, your Twitter, whatever you like. Uh, and also shout me out if you do. Uh, and I will see you guys in another video next week. Peace out.